Arceus anyway. <laughs> you should play Arceus. I do want to play Arceus really bad. But speaking of Arceus, Pokemon Trainer, um, she's not in it, but no. <laughs> Dawn is. <laughs> However, she is in this match with Noku playing PT, of course. Hey, Noku, finally Pat, glad to have you back. And Fawn going the Duck Hunt, which I think is a way better choice than trying to fight this with Bayo. Like, oh. Oh, yeah. Bayo versus Squirtle, that sounds like hell. It is. Like, Squirtle would be so tiny. And it's like, I know it's like as much of a meme as like Rob is big, but like Squirtle is so Squirtle itty bitty. Tiny. Squirtle itty bitty. And Fawn has not taken a single hit of damage. Yeah, honestly, I I feel like, <clears throat> I do feel like Trainer has some strengths in this matchup. You know, Squirtle's gonna have that small hitbox and mobility to get in on Fawn's like obstacle courses that they set up at ledge, but. That's funny. Right now, not not doing too well. These these uh these obstacles just keep coming and the can finally gonna be taking it at 170. You know what's up with the whole situation? The can was going back and forth like hot potato the entire time and once Noku had thought that they were safe, Fawn pulls out the gunman and pokes it back. And that was where the stock was taken. Like it's you never really you're, the can is so unpredictable at times, especially if, especially if you don't play duck hunt whatsoever. It's just it's a I mean, funky little mechanic. Especially against Fawn. Fawn's can control is so good, it feels like it's just a second player. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Vine Whip just being like, <laughs> goodbye. That's also the biggest thing with Ivysaur against this matchup. At least you have the Vines to kind of buffer that space between can, can and Gunman setup. And you have things like Razor Leaf and, um, and Vine Whip just kind of clear some space. Yeah, I mean, Razor Leaf especially being yes. that sort of like persistent <laughs> hitbox is going to be going through like both Can and Gunman and potentially Clay Pigeon. So, you know, Ivysaur definitely going to be super strong in this matchup in trying to clear some space, like just carve a path through these gauntlets that Fawn sets up. Trying to make some space yeah, using the back airs right now. I think also the mistake that Noku is kind of making is going for the cans rather than Fawn. Uh, Fawn is kind of expecting you to go for the can to get it out of the way and make it go off the stage, but that's where you're most vulnerable because there we go. Fawn is like, hey, you're going to keep this can come across towards me, and I'm going to up air you. You know? It's a I, mind game she's playing. I, playing. I do appreciate Noku like taking the time with his invincibility frames and just throwing out some uh, Charizard sweet spot hitboxes. Like, hey, <laughs> maybe. Maybe they'll land, but unfortunately, no. And going to have to work a little bit harder in getting Fawn's uh, second stock. Beautiful. That was really nice. And now we're even. Incredible. Yeah. Pretty much even uh, even percents as well. Only 13% on Noku. The neutral air keeping him safe from the can. Getting some great platform nice. conversions. It's just the range of Ivysaur as well. It does so well for Noku. He saw that in that little conversion between uh, double up air into to what, like divine the up mm -hmm. Wow. Like... Your mind is humongous. <laughs> but unfortunately, Ooh. that frame one clay pigeon is kind of crazy. And it just it just gives you so much time to hit confirm. Like, you get a full, like, minute to be like, oh, I hit clay pigeon? Uh, yeah, I'll back air. Duck Hunt's back air is crazy. I, Duck, Hunt, Duck Hunt's aerials in general... Especially when followed by Play Pigeon, just keep you in a trance. Like, you can't do anything about it. Look, like, you are Boom. stuck. Because it stops, you think you're fine, and then it explodes. Yeah. Like, how extra could you be with Clay Pigeon? Look at Fawn was chilling after that. Oh, my, my favorite Fawn moments is, is just when, like, they're sitting there and they're watching you get, like, shambled by a <laughs> freaking frisbee. Fawn, like, sets up all of the projectiles in the world and is like, I've done my work. I've and done just my job. <laughs> It's I like play, it's like playing <laughs> like a, a Sim City type game. Oh my god! Oh, that was a humongous, humongous change for Noku just to get that You're that nuts. vine with tether. Oh man! All right, here we go. Here's the 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 PS2 platform gauntlet. Okay, great uh, patience by Noku and getting nice! the stock Whoa! out of it. Whoa! Even production was like, yo. <laughs> Super good. Unfortunately, Noko is still not in the safe zone. You're 101% against Spawn. Still kind of scary, except when you're off stage, you have Cleasman coming at you. You have the gunman, who's the slowest one, coming at you. It, it's a scary situation on the ledge right here. Ooh, great uh, tether cancel right there by Noku, but still having to find his way into there center stage, and he's not going to be able to. 
All right, here we go. Starting to get some Squirtle things started. Ooh. I think... I, I just think that the Squirtle is just not the viable one for this matchup, and neither is... is just the best one. Oh, yeah. Closest in size to Duck Hunt, and doesn't have to rely so much on coming in close to Duck Hunt, because Duck Hunt is just like... Watch this. Play Pigeon. Frame one. Boom, man, bop. What are you going to do about it? I do actually really like the use of Water Gun in this yes. matchup to push Fawn back because a, a big part of Fawn's uh, obstacle courses is like, all right, well, you've gotten past all of my minions. Now here comes a <laughs> forward smash. Here's the boss. But if you can create that space in between, then that gives you free reign to come in nice. and take another stock. That was a beautiful, clean stock taken uh, by Noku. Just watch this. I love when people are aware of, people, of, other, of others' high percentage and low invincibility on the ledge. You know it lasts Ooh. like half a second and with your deep breath. And you just be like, oh, there. Bop, you're dead. Love it. And then there's that, there's that forward smash. Like, guys. Fawn just sitting in shield with the can. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to about it? You're going to hit me? What are you going to do? Hit me? Come with on. can active? Oh, that was stationary can. I think that happens when Fawn hits it, like with down <coughs> or something. It just stays there and racks up, like, damage. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. But this I, think, I think I'm through the can, actually. I think I messed up a little bit, but it's, it's something like that. All right, coming in with the forward air, trying to set up some ledge traps of his own is Noku, but getting pushed Noku, Noku, back. Noku, no! no way! Oh man, oh. it happens. Probably didn't, I, I gotta rewatch that really fast. Just the last stock, if uh, if we can, because I thought actually I can see you right. Oh, right here. Okay, good. That's yeah, I so think unfortunate. Just, oh, that was weird. Oh, and Noku did like a razor leaf after that? Maybe misinputted the, the switch? Yeah, I think it was a that's, nervous that's moment. Definitely a, that's definitely a yeah. switch misinput. Yeah. Yeah. Nervous I moment. Feel like like, he definitely could have recovered with, with Zard. Absolutely. You have a jump, <laughs> you're you're coming back. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a really unfortunate way to go. Yeah. And lose your semis. Like, hello. Noku was doing so oh, well, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was really starting to get some momentum in his favor.